So it is 2024 and I am still rocking this classic Fujifilm X30 premium compact camera. Now, let me tell you why. So I have other cameras. If you watch my channel, you know I have other Fuji cameras and I also have a Ricoh uh, GR, original Ricoh GR 16 megapixel camera. I have the X-Pro2, X-T2, X-S10, and I have a GoPro, which I don't even really talk about, but something I use when I'm you know, in the water and action and all that stuff. But one of my favorite cameras um, has always been these, this X30. Now, this is, I've owned this twice to be, to be transparent. I took it for granted the first time. And then I bought it again, and I've, ever since, I've never let it go. Something about this camera, let's, we know it's not the best quality images. It doesn't have the biggest sensor. It's not pocketable. But when you look at what it really does have, this is a type of camera that an enthusiast and someone who doesn't take photography overly serious. I'd say you take it serious, but you don't take it overly serious should want in their bag. Here's why. Great ergonomics. It's a small camera, but it's not a tiny camera. It's big enough to feel serious while not being too serious, if that makes sense. It's got a nice rubbery grip. It's, you know, it's easy to hold. It's got a nice thumb rest area, which also has some rubber here. Um, so that's great. You're not going to feel like you're missing out on a camera, like it's too dinky, too small, too light. It's light, but not too heavy. It's really in a sweet spot. Another thing is it has a proper tilt screen, right? You can tilt this camera and shoot low angles. You could shoot it about... I guess that's about 30-ish degrees, not quite 45, but about 30 degrees and, you know, get good shots. It has a decent EVF built in, very good refresh rate. This is what I really like about it is that, you know, it's a, you know, it's a camera and it, you use it like a camera. Like, yes, it's digital, it's small sensor and all that, but you've got a viewfinder, you can compose. Um, unique for this type of camera is that the lens is a mechanical lens. So you actually twist and turn it for that 28 to 112 focal range. It's not a toggle zoom. Like a lot of the compact cameras like the RX100s, the G7X series, they have that toggle zoom, which is very slow. You know, like you have to turn it to go in and out and it's very slow. This is going to mimic the experience of you having a zoom with your mirrorless or DSLR camera. It has an actual proper mechanical zoom. Um, and the lens is an f2 to 2.8. So it's still very fast for what you're going to need for this small sensor. You know, um, in bright daylight, you're going to be fine. And indoors, you got pop up flash and a hot shoe. So lots of great features. Um, it's a Fuji, right? So that in itself is going to tell you X-Trans 2 sensor. You've got um, profiles. So you've got like set up to seven profiles to customize your looks and how you want everything to look. And that's excellent. Um, it gives me that same feeling I get with all my other Fuji cameras. My X-T2, X-Pro2, X-S10 has it. Um, this doesn't have those... Um, individual dials for aperture and shutter speed and all that but you have full manual control um, you've got a control ring on the dial up front here so when you're full manual this is your aperture um, you've got the back dial here which will control your shutter speed um, and then iso is something you can set in your button so i set one of my buttons here very customizable camera I set my ISO for this button here and I can change it as I need to go. Uh, another cool thing about it is like this toggle button in the front, if you're in manual, if you want the back dial to be aperture, you just click it and then the back dial becomes aperture. If you want to then do the same for shutter, click it again and it's back to shutter. 
So it'll just switch these two, the back dial and the front dial, it'll switch them in a different order. So you, you can change, you can change which one you want, depending on which, which configuration you have in it. Um, it's just, listen, this camera is, it's special because it just feels good to shoot with. It's one of those cameras that punches above its weight class and it's just fun to shoot with. It feels like a serious camera. Um, one of the things that I really like is that it has this macro mode. So in the back right here, you got that dial and you put it in super macro mode and you can focus this lens so close to the subject, the lens is literally touching it. And I think that's really, really excellent. Um, one of the things I didn't like is that you have to use a lens cap for this camera. Um, I hate carrying extra stuff I don't need, so I never carry it. But what I did do is I ordered this 40 millimeter um, filt um, UV filter. So this kind of acts like my lens cap. I never take it off. Um, you know, so the actual lens is protected, but then it has this UV, clear UV um, filter on the front. It doesn't really do anything, so, but it allows me to just feel comfortable not having the cap on. So, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I've been singing this camera's praises for years, and I'm going to do it for years to come. And I don't care if you get tired of me, but if you're a fan of this X, you know, 10, 20, and 30 series, this to me is the best one, obviously. Um, it has the EVF, the other two did not have, and I think the viewfinders on those were controversially bad, but, and also this has the tilt screen that the other two didn't have. So this is the best one and the last one in the range, and I highly recommend it. This thing holds its value in the market. I think it sells on the used market today for the same price it sold brand new when it came out probably 10 years ago. So highly recommend it. I mean... Excellent camera. I can't sing its praises enough. It just feels like a complete package. And yes, the sensor's a little small with that 230 sensor, but you don't feel like you're sacrificing a whole lot. Um, if you use it in a daylight and you treat it like a film camera, don't go above 1600 and manage everything else. You're going to get some great images. You're going to love them. And that's going to be that. So that's all I got for y'all. Um, yeah, again, I'm gonna sing these praises to the, till this thing breaks. So that's all I got. Peace.